deep should you squat? Or should I say, how low should you go? Is there a right or wrong answer on how deep your squat should be? Is it cheating if it's above 90 degrees? Are you a terrible human who should never lift if you can't get below 90 degrees? Is it even anatomically possible for you to get lower in your squat? What is the answer? So I'm Dr. Alyssa Olenek, if you're new to my channel. If you're not, welcome back, my friends. And this is Coach Corey Davis, co-coach of the List Method, owner of the gym we're in here right now. He coaches tons of people in person, us both online. And we're here to tell you the age-old answer I feel like we're answering every day is, should I do this lower? Yep. I think we do form feedback in our community and I think a lot of people have those squats that are just hovering above 90 degrees. And the question is always, should I be doing this lower? And Corey, I'm gonna let you answer this because you said it yeah. so beautifully before this video. Yeah, oh, pressure's on. So <laughs> my answer is if you can possibly squat lower, yes, squat lower. So most people that are in the TLM uh, program want to build muscle, they want to get stronger, they want to be more flexible and more mobile. They want to live a happier, healthier life. And so for all those goals, in general, a longer range of motion is going to be better. Yeah. I don't think you're ever going to regret dropping 10 pounds off your max and having that strength through a longer range of motion. I think that's going to be better for you. Yeah, and I think the things I'll add there as the disclaimer caveat queen is you're not a terrible person if you're not going as low as me down here, fully squatting to the ground. But if the difference between you doing that is you going to 90 degrees, like slightly above 90 degrees versus just right at or below, that's what we're saying is worth it. If you can work through that. And I will say most people can get to at least 90 degrees or lower, if not full range, in some sort of variation of squat. So maybe you're struggling with a barbell squat, but maybe you can do it in other forms or variations in the meantime to improve that mobility or get into that full range of motion as you get stronger. But I will say, I don't know your take on this. I think for most people, the one thing that's limiting you from doing that isn't more mobility. It might be some tweaks to your form, but it's that you need to drop the load, yes. drop the ego, and sometimes you have to drop it more than you think to rebuild your strength in that range of motion that you don't have. I think that's where most people lack. They're training that partial range of motion and they're strong from here up. Yes. But they don't have the strength, especially when you're at your full range of motion in your squat and you are essentially at the end of your range of motion, your muscles are basically as stretched as they can kind of get in this cross bridge cycling thing that's going on that we understand you don't really need to worry about. And so you're, you essentially have a different type of contractile strength at that point that you're gonna have to train then if you're only going part way where they're really strong and over each other versus more stretched out, I guess well, is what I'm trying to for get sure. at. Yeah. And it might even be that there's literally muscles starting to get involved that yeah. you've never trained. Yes, exactly so like, that too. So especially I'll see. Of course I get is, molecular. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, hey, you're adductors. Yeah, you know? yeah you're so, adductors. And, yeah. and this is not that every woman in the world only squats because she wants to like build her glutes. But like if that is part of your goal, your glutes aren't really getting involved in this range of motion. Yeah. And so it's like, hey, you started squatting because you wanted to like build your booty. Okay, cool. That's your goal. Fair enough. My bias hot take is full range of motion squats are one of the best booty builders. Well, no, that's that's, that's exactly that's, it for that's, me. That's, yeah. Is and that's so just my I hot take. yeah I agree my with you. My hot take. Yeah. Yeah. Is cool. That's your goal. You definitely need to squat a lot lower because your glutes aren't getting involved here. Your glutes aren't getting involved until here. Yes. Now we're starting. And so that extra little bit of motion is what actually makes this exercise actually useful for your goals. Yeah. And so exactly what you were saying, but like even on a broader scale, yeah, you can't squat deeper because you've only trained your quads and now your squat because you're going deeper requires a lot more like adductors and glutes and you've never used those in a squat before. Yeah. So, like, so you might yes, be able to do 200 for five on yeah. your partial range of motion but the strength of your squat for that full range might be 120 yep. or 150 to start. And, and that's a good point too, especially if people have specific goals. When you think about hypertrophy goals, you wanna have that full range of motion. You wanna go through that, that whole range to actually elicit that. But even if you're getting stronger, I really recommend you guys pull back the weight mm -hmm. and start building it back from the way up. Again, you might not be all the way, what do they call it? Calves to ass is what they're calling Astagrass. it. Astagrass. Astagrass. Astagrass yeah. is the one calves I know. Calves to ham is the one I okay. was thinking of. That, that's better. Without swearing, yes, calves to better. ham is what I'm thinking of. So yes. you might not always be calves to ham, but you, you may be able and you should be able to go lower for you. So our coaching advice is if you can go lower, go lower. And if you can't go lower yet, that's okay. Let's figure out what your limiter is and how we can get you there. Yeah. I would say my two like disclaimers on that are yes. one, 
the longest range of motion you can do where you're not doing some weird compensation. Yes. So this is not me saying, oh yeah, you have a beautiful squat to here and to get lower, you do this. Well, I want you to do that. It's not that. What's the longest range of motion you can do where you're still keeping everything tight and like having good form, yeah. which I'm not even tell, telling you to be that technical. Like, don't do anything weird. Just don't have your knees cave in. Don't get bent over. Competent form. Yes. Yeah. Don't yeah, have don't your have a heels yes. come off the floor, yeah. et cetera. And then two, if it like matches your goals. So yeah. if you, hey, I actually want to compete in powerlifting and I want to get to exactly parallel because that is the requirement in powerlifting. Mm -hmm. Cool. Do that. Or, hey, I don't want to squat for muscle building. I want to squat specifically because I'm trying to like play a sport. Like, cool. Do a you partial range of motion. That. Yeah. In all of my sporting days, I never remember getting down like this low and then being asked to be explosive. So like, yeah. sure, do a shorter range of motion. I'm completely fine with that. Yeah. But most of our clientele that I work with in the gym don't have big sporting aspirations. They want to live better, move better, feel better, yeah. build muscle, et cetera. And so for that, calves to hams, yeah. whatever you say. Yeah, calves to hams. And I'll yeah. ask that too. Maybe squat isn't your goal there. Maybe you hate back squatting. Maybe it is uncomfortable. Maybe you're, you don't want that to be your goal. Mm -hmm. Find some sort of full range of motion squat or knee bending pattern to train through a full range of motion. Like it, if, you, if, if squats are out of the table for you, maybe you are just doing box squats for strength, mm -hmm. but then maybe take your step ups or your split squats or your lunges to a slightly more full range of motion. Mm -hmm. Those patterns still count. The point that we're making here today is that strengthening yourself through full range of motion in your lifts is a good thing to do. And if your squat is hovering above 90 degrees, it's worth pulling back that weight, putting aside your ego and rebuilding it up from the floor up. Absolutely. And Miss Kona is here to tell us that our video is done. All right, my friends, if you found that helpful, let us know below. Let us know what other coaching tips or tricks or things that you're struggling with that you would love to have us coach you through or just simply help you in a future video or in the comments below. And otherwise, hit that subscribe button and we'll catch you on the next video.